Many videos in this series have focused on Parasoft Selenix integration with Eclipse. This video will show how Parasoft Selenix seamlessly integrates with IntelliJ as well. In order to add the plugin to IntelliJ, you simply go to File, Settings, Choose Plugins, and then install the Parasoft Selenix plugin and Parasoft plugin, then restart, and you're ready to go. As with Eclipse, Within the IntelliJ IDE, you can use Parasoft Selenic to create pure Selenium page object model driven Selenium tests and enhance your existing Selenium tests with self healing and AI powered recommendations. Parasoft Selenic can be found inside of the test configurations in the Run Debug Configurations window. In the Startup Connection tab, you can see the options available that will generate recommendations for tests perform self-healing for locators and weight conditions, take screenshots on failures, create a nice HTML report with your results and recommendations, retrieve information about performance timing, and generate API tests from your Selenium test executions. So today I'm going to demonstrate how Parasoft Selenic can be used to find errors in the application due to changing element locators and weight conditions. To do this, I'm going to use my Selenium test to point to a version of my application with breaking changes. Now, I'm going to click the Run with Selenic button on the toolbar to start the tests. I'm using a banking example, and my Selenium tests validate three user workflows. Here is the first one, Accounts. It's successful. Here comes the second one, Bill Pay. I can see this test is encountering some kind of error here. There's something wrong with phone number or zip code. I'm not entirely sure. Unfortunately, this test is going to fail. OK, here comes my third test, transfer funds. Now in this UI, there are some changes that have taken place to the loading of content. And it seems like potentially the weight conditions I have are not sufficient, and it causes this test to fail. Fortunately, Parasoft Selenic was monitoring the tests, and after running the Parasoft Selenic Analyzer, it will produce a report indicating how many of our tests have passed and how many have failed. In this case, one test passed and two of my tests failed. Selenic also indicates the reasons why those tests may have failed. In the first case, it was a bad element locator, in the second case, it was an insufficient weight condition. Just like the Eclipse and command line versions of Selenic, here at IntelliJ, we can see helpful screenshots, as well as viewing the AI-powered recommendations that provide us with new element locators to use to fix the tests. Meanwhile, back in the IDE, we can see that those recommendations have been imported right here. We can view the recommended locators, and we see the same list that was in our HTML report. These can be copied to our clipboard for copying and pasting into the code, or to make fixing this test easy, we can immediately jump to the line of code that's affected and make the change right here automatically, thus streamlining the entire process of repairing the test. If you've been watching the other videos in this series, you'll see that we also have the ability to create pure Selenium tests right here in the IDE. You can either create direct projects here at IntelliJ, and create the project from recording, or merge them into your existing Selenium projects. For more information on Parasoft Selenic, please watch some of our other videos in this series or head over to parasoft.com forward slash selenic to start your free trial today.